All right, it's Barry, and today I'm growing. And to start off the year, I'm finally doing my most requested video, which is an 18 month update on the piece of onion that I've been regrowing. In the summer of 2020, I made a video where I wanted to test how long I could keep a single onion growing for, or how many onions I could grow from it by cutting off the bottom and then planting it in some soil. Here's a quick refresher on how I did that. So that onion piece has been growing in its pot for 18 months now and before we have a look at how it's getting on, let's have a quick look at the growth stages of the onion throughout the last year and a half. So now that we're fully caught up with the last 18 months, let's go in the other greenhouse and have a look how it's getting on. So here it is, and as you can see, we have these large dry stems that have grown up from the onion, which from when the onion flowered last summer. As you may know, onions are biennial plants, which means that they have a two year life cycle. The onions that we normally grow from seeds, our onion sets, and even the ones that we buy from the shops, are usually in this first year of the life cycle, when the bulb does all of its growing and swells up, before going into dormancy over the next winter, and then growing and flowering the following year. But well, that's exactly what's happened here. The onion plant grew in its first year, then I cut the end off it and replanted it, and it's completed its life cycle the following year as if nothing had even happened. And apart from the now dried flowers at the top of the plant, we also have a new set of onions that have developed at the base of the plant, and they are looking like they're ready to be planted. First though, I'm gonna sort out these flowers and see what seeds I can get from them. The first thing I'm gonna do is just cut the flowers off the top quite gently so that I don't lose all the seeds. I've got a piece of white paper here just to put the flowers on and, and that's just going to make it a bit easier to see what falls out of the flowers and make collecting the seeds a bit easier at the end. So all I need to do now is give them a bit of a shake, ruffle them up a bit and then all of the seeds should hopefully just fall out onto the paper. Ideally I should have done this in autumn maybe, um, I've lost quite a few of the seeds, they've just fallen out and gone on the table or whatever, um, fell into the pot and stuff. But um, yeah, ideally this should have been done a bit early before they totally dried out like this. But they're perfectly fine to do now. They'll be all nice and dry. So I'll get all these kept in a bag and I'm going to use half of them today anyway. Now it's time to finally disturb this plant and get these onion bulbs separated and replanted individually to give them the best chance at growing. I've got three bulbs here, so I think I'll use one of my terracotta pots and keep them in the greenhouse while we're still due a bit more cold weather before the end of the winter. Especially if today's anything to go by, it's absolutely freezing. So the pot's off, and as you can see, these roots really need some more room to grow. I'm gonna put them into the bigger pot, so they're gonna be fine. It's got a really good root network though, so that's a really good sign. And looking at it, this soil is quite waterlogged, so I'm not really gonna bother putting more water on it today, especially while it's so cold, because the water's gonna be freezing. So I'm just gonna give them a watering tomorrow, maybe. Um, give them a small watering, and that should be absolutely fine. I'm gonna put the soil level slightly higher than it was before, just to uh, give them a bit more warmth and insulation in the pot, just like you would a normal onion set. And there we go, they look absolutely smashing in there. Hopefully they'll be able to grow now and we'll see how they get on. And then not only have I got those mini onions to try and grow, I've also got all of these seeds from the flowers. It's the end of January now, so it's a good time to start sowing onion seeds indoors, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with these ones. I'm gonna sow a tray's worth now, and then save some for later in the year, so that just in case these don't make it, and I can still grow some smaller onion sets to store and grow for next year. 
So here we go, I've got a seed tray filled with some compost. It's a multi-cell one, I couldn't find one of my other ones. I need to have a big sort out. And all I'm gonna do, as you can see, I've got this compost in here. I'm just gonna give the seeds a bit of a sprinkling. I'm gonna sprinkle them all over. Um, not particularly paying any attention because I've got loads and loads of seeds. I'm not gonna really pay much attention to where I'm putting them in the actual cells themselves because I can just thin them out later and keep the stronger ones to grow on. And there we go, they're all in there now, so I'm just going to put a thin layer of compost over the top and then give them a bit of a watering with the sprayer and they're done. Oh, my hands are so cold. These gloves do nothing. Well, there we go. We're off for another year and I can't wait to see how they turn out. It'll be really interesting to see if those onion bulbs start to grow again and whether they'll grow to be full-size onions or even if the seeds will be any good at all. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications so that you don't miss out on the next updates on these onion plants and all of my other videos. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen next with these onions and I'll see you next time.